Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with exercise 11.2, question number 2 of chapter 11. We need to construct a triangle ABC in which BC is 8 cm, so one side is 8 cm. The angle, uh, one of the angles B is 45 degrees and this difference of two sides is 3.5 cm. So what we basically need is a triangle ABC wherein if you, you have BC, ABC, BC is how much? It is 8 centimeters. This angle out here is 45 degrees. And the difference of AB, this side minus this side is 3.5 centimeters. So let's get started. So let me first draw the base BC, 8 centimeters. Right? This is my base BC of 8 centimeters. Then I'm going to draw an angle of 45 degrees, that's angle B, right? So first I'm going to take 90 degrees and bisect it. You can even draw 60 degrees bisect it and further bisect it to get 30 degrees. Then half of 30 degrees which would be 15 and add it up. I prefer taking 90 degrees, so I will take 90 degrees first and bisect it. So here I have B. How do you draw 90 degrees? You cut an arc with B as your center. Then without changing the length, you divide this arc into three equal parts. Right? Let's mark these arcs as D, E, F and G. Now I'm going to join B to E and F. So B to E and F, now I'm going to bisect F, B, E, so I will get 90 degrees, right? So bisecting F, B, E, let this point of intersection be O, I will join O, B. So this angle out here, O, B, C is 90 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bisect this angle, that is OBE. And I'll call this point of intersection as P and join BP. So PBE, angle PBE would be how much? 45 degrees. So what is happening here is I have PBE as, PBC as 45 degrees, right? This angle out here. Now what I'm going to do is this length AB minus AC is equal to 3.5 centimeters. I'm going to Cut an arc of this length here on BP and I'll call this arc as let's say Q and I will join QC. Now the next thing to do is that we will draw the perpendicular bisector of QC. So how do you draw the perpendicular bisector of QC? With C as your center and Q as your center one at a time, you cut arcs on either side without changing the length of your compass. Let this point of intersection of the arcs be R and S. So you join R and S. And you keep extending this line. And also you extend this line out here. Let 
let R S and this line segment B P intersect at point A. Then you join A to C. So A B C is your required triangle. So why A B C is the required triangle? Because A lies on the line segment or on the bisector of perpendicular bisector of Q C. So A Q is going to be equal to A C, right? Therefore, so let's do this over here. In fact, let's do this over here. This was A B C and you had this line segment B Q as 3.5 centimeters. So this length was 3.5 centimeters. And A lies on the perpendicular bisector of Q C. See, this was a perpendicular bisector, right? So A lies on the perpendicular bisector of QC, therefore AQ is equal to AC. Now what have we taken our length BQ as 3.5 centimeters is equal to BQ. But BQ is made up how? It is AB minus AQ, correct? So this is AB minus AQ. But AQ is what? AQ is equal to AC. So I can write this as AB minus AC and this is 3.5 right so 3.5 centimeters so this is AB minus AC is 3.5 centimeters so what did we exactly do is we first we took a base BC of the given length what was the given length out here 8 centimeters then we drew an angle of 45 degrees once this angle was drawn we took up, we cut an arc of 3.5 centimeters here. So this length was 3.5 centimeters. We call this length BQ, right? And then we joined Q to C. So this was QC, we joined it. And then we drew the perpendicular bisector of QC. So if this was the perpendicular bisector of QC and we let it intersect BQ, the extended line BQ at point A and then we joined AC. So this angle ABC is, uh, this triangle ABC is the given triangle according to the construction sum. Right, so let's go, please take a note, down, uh, take a note of this. We will go ahead and write the construction steps for now. So construction steps, draw base BC is equal to 8 centimeters, then draw angle PBQ is equal to 45 degrees, cut an arc BQ is equal to 3.5 centimeters. This length is also length of AB minus AC. Right? So cut and arc BQ is equal to 3.5 centimeters with B as center. Then what you did was join QC. Then draw perpendicular bisector of QC. Such that it intersects BP at point A. Therefore, triangle ABC is the required triangle. So this is your construction. These are your steps. Please take a look.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो होप दिस वीडियो इंक्रीज योर नॉलेज फॉर मोर सच वीडियो एंड कम्प्लीटली फ्री एजुकेशनल कॉन्टेंट लॉग ऑन टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट ई पाठ शाला डॉट ओ आर जी और विजिट अवर ई पाठ शाला यूट्यूब चैनल वी हैव ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन सॉल्व फॉर मैथ फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी सो सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स लाइक आवर फेसबुक पेज एंड फॉलो आवर ट्विटर हैंडल फॉर रेगुलर अपडेट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट एडुकेशनल टिप्स एंड ऑल्सो विन ई पाठ शाला गुडीज So what are you waiting for subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education